right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. Man, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21 is no longer the Wild Wild West, man. Look, it really feels like they took last gen, let every, left us to our own devices, let us do anything that we wanted to do. People was glitching, cheating, speed boost glitching, dang, curry sliding back and forth, uh, zen and all that stuff, man. People were doing all of that stuff. And then it looked like, looked like 2K said, you know, we're going to take that game let you guys expose everything that the community does and then we're gonna try to fix it on this side and then fix it one at a time i mean people getting sniped out here getting banned they they seeing all the glitches instantly all the stuff that's happening they're punishing it right away man i can't i can't lie to you man and then they're fixing a lot of the stuff that's wrong with the game to boot it's it's, it's gonna be a good year with 2k man i really feel like parks is lit all that stuff man and like like yesterday I really got a 2K16 type of vibe where all the courts was running in the park, everything was smooth, and randoms was getting dropped off. And they didn't even have no chance against you no more, so I can't lie, man. It's a W for me right now. Um, Played a couple games in the wreck, you know, we lost one, one like 10, you know, that's that's normal stuff for us. But it's sweaty in that wreck, ain't it? Drop a like if it's sweaty in the wreck. Anyway, what, this day, what today's video is about, man, we got NBA 2K2, he went ahead and tested the uh, interior defense and stuff like that. Probably gonna do perimeter next. Um, we got Chalk going and Ronnie and Ronnie going to Chalk, all that good stuff. And then Mike Wong, you know, he 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 settles a little bit of a debate. And then last but not least, man, we got Tosino being the legend he is, and some first looks at Annie up and all that stuff, man. So if you don't do nothing else, like the video, man. Uh, subscribe for more daily 2K content. Liking the video helps the video get out to everybody. And let, let's just get right into the video. Nino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. So like I was saying, bro, like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. Like, I, I really am enjoying the game and the way that it's going and some of the things, some of the changes that they made, all that good stuff. I will say this, um, they may have gone a little too far uh with the with the dunks and stuff like that man i'm not gonna lie uh mike mike put this tweet out on yesterday and he just said uh players with high interior like i already we already talked about this but we're gonna revisit it players with high interior defense and the rim protector badge will be dunked on less with today's patch the block rating still determines the strength of the actual contest and the block and this dude right here man i don't know he's gonna be a youtube star one day after 95 years it's been 10 years already but uh he said big does for all of us that held the fort and maxed interior defense strength and good weight finally we should see defense being rewarded and uh you know it, it is what it is man like i, I can't get mad at y'all uh for trying to improve the game because the way that it is is like it didn't make any sense Everybody was getting dunked on equally. And once me, NBA 2, me and NBA 2K2 got together, you know, we said, okay, do this one right here. He tested all of that. Then he tested perimeter defense. After he tested perimeter defense, I don't think they had any recourse. They had to make a change. So we are out here advocating for change. And like I said, bro, if you made the wrong build, then like, like y'all laughed at this build right here when I put it out there saying you got too much interior defense, interior defense doesn't matter, blah, 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 yakety smackety. Bro, now, like I said, who laughing now? Now you got people mad and like, I, I would never tell y'all something and try to steer y'all wrong. I'm gonna tell, I know, I know that $50 is not a whole lot to most of my fans because most of my fans are are hardworking individuals and guys that, that we, we would pay, let's, let's be real. Most of us got real jobs and we ain't got time to grind this game. We'll pay $100, $100 or 150 to get a, a completely maxed out 99 player right off the bat and with badges and all. How many of y'all would do that in the comment section just so we can go ahead and play and enjoy the game because we ain't got time to be grinding. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of people don't because we got real jobs and real responsibilities. A buck 50 ain't a whole lot to us and uh, you know, $100. It's just not a whole lot. 50 bucks ain't a whole lot to us. But that being said, I know it's a lot to a lot of other people. And so that's why I try to put out bills that, you know, are patch proof. And my bill was one of those bills that was patch proof. I was not banking on the fact that I wouldn't be able to, uh, that you know what I'm saying, that they wouldn't, that they weren't going to uh, make interior defense matter and all that stuff. I was just banking on the fact that, hey, it, it just doesn't make sense because we already had the tweet from Mike Wong that said this. Like we we had this and somebody dug it up from a couple of years ago, but they found it. And uh, the fact that they found it, 
that's that's all that really matters. And it just said a lot of people have asked us since we removed the shot contest rating. We look at your interior defense or perimeter defense rating depending on depending on where the shot is taken. Now, with that being the case, and we us knowing that for NBA 2K20, why would we think it changed in 21? Especially when it wasn't like that in first in in, in, in current gen. In current gen, you had to have interior defense or you were gonna get scored on inside. It was really just that simple. Like I don't I don't understand why people thought that changed, but they thought it changed, and a lot of people made those bills with the demigod stuff like that. And we just like, hell no. Like even even like right now, if you got interior defense, you're not really getting dunked on. Even if your interior defense is like a 50 or a 60, you're getting dunked on less. And uh 2K2s, so we're gonna look at his video, but um uh on that right now and pretty much this is what he's saying bro he's got he's got this graphic and it shows if you don't have interior defense you are getting banged on look at this 96 out of 100 times you getting contact dumped and if you're in bad position as opposed to uh what was it like 32 32 out of 100 or something like that that's a dramatic difference this is the type of i mean 16 out of 100 you're gonna get contact dunked on if you're in bad position these are the type of differences that we wanted to see and that and that we wanted to happen. That's a dramatic difference. 99 interior D versus 25 interior D. That's a huge difference. And it's also, it's almost damn near overpowered, almost to the point where it's like, where if somebody's even near you, like you go down there to try to get caught, especially in the wreck. In the park, it's about the same because most people that play park, they just made, they made bills without a whole lot of interior. Us guys, people that played the wreck, that knew they were gonna play wreck and play in the park, a lot of guys, they went ahead and put a lot of interior defense on that guy. So sometimes you got two centers down there and whereas you were able to contact dump them, them jokers yesterday, you're not doing that today. It's getting swatted out of there. Uh, guards going through and just smoking dunks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's, 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 uh, it's a little bit, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit iffy out there if you're a guard, man. Brute was missing dunks that I felt like he shouldn't have missed. But at the same time, he was making some. I think he don't have on Gatorade or or the uh, or the uh, gym rat physicals or anything like that either. So I, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But he might not have. He may. He might not even have one bar of Gatorade. Or maybe he got two. I don't know. But I think I know he was saying that he need to get gym rat in a hurry so he can get his double bars. So maybe that's what it is on that. We gonna blame it on that. Um, but I don't know. Uh, but anyway, like I said, all that came to a head though when Shock put this video out. He and Ronald were going at it yesterday. Now Ronald deleted all of his tweets, but this is what Shock had. So I'm not gonna lie to you. Know. 2K is really starting to frustrate me. So basically, as you guys could see, is starting to move some hot fixes to the game. So they're making certain stats matter. They're making other stats not matter as much. They're mm. buffing things that should have been buffed, which is fine, except for the fact that it costs a hundred dollars minimum for you to upgrade. Bro, what the hell is this hundred dollars to upgrade a player, bro? It don't cost a hundred dollars to upgrade a player. This is making us go make a new. I'm sorry, I listened to this video a couple of times already, and so I'm just like, yeah. I mean, a hundred dollars to upgrade a player. Like, where are we getting this from? I mean, it don't cost me a hundred to upgrade a player, but uh, player, because you know, if you made a player knowing interior defense didn't matter, now you have to go remake it because now interior defense matters. So you just put a hundred dollars into a guy for a player that now is useless. And this is going to lead me to my main point of today's topic and something that is not talked about enough, okay? We've talked about the gameplay issues and now those have been resolved. We talked about the rep issues and now that's been resolved. Something okay. that needs okay. to be resolved, and this has been a problem for as many 2Ks as I can think of, is number one, either VC prices need to drop, okay? Because it costs $100. It don't cost $100, player, but $100 I agree to with what you're get saying. Yourself to an 85. VC needs to be easier to get because when you play one... Okay, so that's what I was thinking when he was saying, he kept saying $100. I was like, maybe he mean get a $100 to get to 99 Now, he just said 85 It don't cost $100. It costs like, what, 170 Something like that? Uh, like 50 bucks? I, I don't know, man. But anyway, let me see. Did he say? He said 85 it right? It's easier to get because when you play one game and get 200 VC, you're never going to be able to upgrade naturally play unless my, you pay $100 for it. And bad progression needs there. a buff. Let's use Call of Duty for example. Imagine Call of Duty, right? Obviously, you get your starter guns that you can work with, but everybody starts with the same gun. So imagine Call of Duty saying, you know what? Until you put $100 into this game and until you put $100 into these guns, they're not going to shoot as fast as other guns because that's what 2K makes you do. You're on a 60 overall and you have to pay VC in order for you to be able to play. Like, there's no other game that's making you pay. 
to actually play and be able to win. Like, it, it, I hate to say pay to win, but it's really pay to win. And to be honest, you would think unloading $100 extra on top of an $80 game, you would think that unloading $100 Where extra- Where's this $100 coming just go from? Have fun. It's 50, you right? You have to grind badges tricking? out. And badges are not easy to get, man. It takes like a week of actually took Rook three days to go from zero to nine, to from sixty to ninety nine, and get all the badges. Why do I have to wait a week he grind, he plays to play a, on a player uh, that we, I just put a hundred dollars into? Like amounts. badge progression needs a buff. Not a hundred dollars. Fifty. I don't even start on VC. Like I could really go in on VC. It costs twenty five thousand dollars for a normal T-shirt when you're earning one hundred and fifty to two hundred VC a game. It just doesn't make sense. Bro. That's in the park though. Somebody make it make sense. You get many. You, I don't know, man. I agree with some of the stuff that he's saying. You know, like, VC does need to be easier to get. VC does need to be cheaper. It don't cost $100 to, to build your player, regardless of what you try to say. And, um... And and Call of Duty been paid to pay to win for years. That was the worst analogy that you could have used. Bro, do you not know about the black market on Call of Duty where people have guns that you don't have? It's literally pay to win. They put guns in there that you can't otherwise get. You cannot earn those guns. Maybe you can earn them now. But you used to not be able to earn them. And you could only get certain guns in there. And those guns were markedly better than the other guns that anybody had that they could get naturally. You might you might pull uh, you can you can earn the card points, but it would take you forever to do it. And you can earn those guns, and you might roll one. But it was so much easier if you just put an extra 150, 200 bucks into the game and roll, 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 roll your boat until you got it. So I don't know what he's talking about. But that that was the worst analogy that he could have used with Call of Duty. But I understand what he's trying to say. It don't cost $100 to max out your player, but you know it is what it is. So Ronnie just said, "Hey, stop trying to tease the game, and uh, then you won't have these problems." And uh, this is what Chalk came back with. Ronnie, with all due respect, man, you keep saying stop cheesing the game, stop cheesing the game. Well, number one, it would not make any sense to upgrade something that for years has been useless. Interior defense has been useless. But again, I we've already proven that it's cap. We've already proven that it's cap because the interior defense has not been useless in previous years. And you yourself have put interior defense on all your bills in your other videos. But, I'm on a hey, six three point guard. I'm not on a six eight demigod slashing shot creating rim protecting demigod build. All right, I'm on a normal build that has nothing to do with the VC prices, right? If the VC prices were okay, if VC was more affordable, if it did not cost a hundred dollars to get a player to ninety nine, if it didn't take a week to two weeks to upgrade that player, don't, there's don't nothing for me to long. complain about. You. Why are you dodging the VC comment? This is not about you guys buffing interior defense. That's a W. That's a W. But what does that have to do with the VC and everything that I'm saying in the original video? What you're saying in the original video is one of those things where we say you're trying to split the argument. And when we say you're trying to split the argument, it's when you come out with two things, you say two things right off the bat, and then you come with something else, and then you be like, well, I said this, but you didn't address this point. VC does need to be addressed. They do need to do something about it. We do need to have better ways to get VC. We need to get more of it. We need to do all that stuff. I do agree with that. but. What Ronnie was saying is, about stop trying to tease the game is, if you had made your player with interior defense in the first place, you wouldn't have to worry about having to make another player because, you know, you're trying to game the system. You're, you're plainly trying to game the system. Everybody that did it is trying to game the system. Just like me, I ain't gonna lie to you. I game the system on my bill. I didn't put no interior, uh, interior uh, shot close on him because I never plan on taking a shot close down there. And if I never make a shot close, I'm completely happy with that. If I never, I, I didn't put any, um, what I didn't put on, I ain't put no steel on him. If I never get a steal this year, I'm completely happy with that. Even if they throw the ball right off my face, I'm completely happy with it that I can't get a steal. I'm fine with that. But what I couldn't be fine with is never getting a stop inside in the interior. I couldn't be fine with that. So when you made a player like that, you're literally saying, I'm cool with never getting a stop inside. Or you're just gambling on the fact that somebody said it doesn't matter when the man that makes the game tells you that it matters. It does indeed matter. So I don't understand why they, where they got the fact that it didn't matter. But like he said, he tried, he tried on that one. He tried to split the argument and then, you know, be like, well, you didn't address this point. VC does need to be addressed. It does need to be lower. It's not $100 to get a player. And, you know, yeah, what he's saying, a lot of this stuff is right. I do completely agree with that. But at the same time, you did try to game the system. And they said 2K just ain't having it this year. They coming at everybody and, and all this stuff. Uh, they probably going to fix perimeter defense, something like that tomorrow and all that. I just would never tell y'all to make a bill with no interior defense, knowing that your primary place is going to be in the interior. That just does not make sense to me. It don't make good sense to me. Uh, but we're not going to talk about that. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Um, 
does he have some valid points? Yes, he does. But you know, like I said, that's that's just trying to split the argument. And you, we we don't we not gonna go for that. Up next, we got Tysino, man. Anytime you do something, people do something bad. People don't shout them out. I mean, when, when they say something, you know, we put it on the news. Splicey said, Tysino just bought me a new PC. What the freak, man? Y'all don't understand how much of a legend this dude is. Look, man. Even if I even if I bought somebody that rocks with me a PC. Hey, that's a W, man. Big shout out to Ticino. Ticino. Ticino is Santa Claus today, man. You know what I'm talking about. NBA 2K Leaks talks about this is the first look at stage. A lot of people been itching for stage, man. First look at the stage, man. 6 p.m. regional. And then we also got the first look at our uh, Formula One right here, man. So, you know, we got that going on, too. So, like I said, man, really govern yourselves accordingly. Um, really, I think, uh, oh, one more thing I wanted to show y'all, man, is that uh, 2K watches my videos and they take my advice uh, very seriously. Because let me show y'all something. Y'all remember when I told y'all that the reason that uh, people was lagging was shadows? Let me show y'all this, man. You see how you see how this shadow looks right here? You probably, oh yeah, you can't see it. You see how this shadow looks right here? Now watch when I walk up to the top of the court. You see this right here? How this shadow, the further I get away from it, the trasher it gets. You see that? I walk up here, that shadow is blurred out and it's garbage. But when we walk up, the shadow, like I told y'all, I told y'all it was the shadows. Why don't y'all listen to me? The 2K community need to be listening to me. That's what y'all, I'm not going to lead you astray. I'm going to make sure that I tell y'all the right thing all the time. My technical background told me that it was the shadows. And everybody should have known it was the damn on, the, the dang on shadows. Because when the courts are completely night, or when it's noon, and the sun is right overhead, and everybody has one shadow, we didn't get any frame drops. When it was uh, night, and there were no shadows, because there's no light, and there can be no shadows with no light, there were no frame drops. It was always the shadows. Damn, I'm good at this, man. Put a damn I'm good down in the comment section, man, if easy is good, man. And I, like I said, Chop, I applaud you for trying to fight the good fight. You had a couple of, you had a little cap in your rap. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you, but you trying to fight the good fight. Anybody going at the organization trying to fight the good fight, I'm gonna tell you Godspeed, I'm with you. But you can't get mad that Ronnie didn't try to, didn't, didn't address the other side of your argument. Cause like, that's not, like, let's let be real. If any of y'all married, ain't that how, ain't that how wives argue? You say one thing and they shoot two things at you and the one thing that was completely irrelevant that, that you didn't address, they come back and be like, well, why you say nothing about this? Cause it wasn't relevant. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Or it has something, it has that much to do. So I, I get what it's saying, but ain't that how it was, are you? I ain't trying to say nothing like that. I'm just saying like, that's that's how they do it. And they try to, they try to wrap you up in something like that. And you be like, huh? They don't even got nothing to do with what we're talking about. Or it does. But if you would have done this, that would have been completely irrelevant. So that's what I'm trying to say. Like if you would have built your bill with the interior defense, then the VC comment would have been completely irrelevant. But don't take that time to address this. Just address, just, just talk about the VC by itself. We don't even got to talk about interior defense. Let's get VC addressed by itself and just leave it just like that. Anyway, man, I got to get up out of here, man. I've already been here too long. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. And I'm going to holler to y'all next time. Till next time. Happy Thanksgiving to those who celebrate it. And it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak.